Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to episode two of the Music DCS channel. I'm still working on a title. I'm your host. Previously, I talked about how the one and six chords are constantly used in all sorts of minor key songs. Now, despite those constant usages, I still love the chord progressions that they're in, but now we're gonna take a look at what I think makes them so damn awesome in the first place. I'm talking about how different one and six chord relationships feel in a minor key to me. Chord progression number one, the one six. So when I hear this one, I tend to get an overall dark atmosphere since the one chord shows up first and it's minor, but then you get a sense of almost hopeful brightness you know, from the six chord, which is major. Also, a lot of times there'll be a uh, seven, a five, or a three chord kind of thrown into the mix somewhere, but they usually don't really carry the same weight as the one in six do, you know? They're just passing by. They sound like this. Chord progression number two, the six to one. Ooh, very different. Mm. This one does have a similar feel, but because the one and six chords have been switched around, you know, it does have like a darker quality, in my opinion. So you get the bright, happy stuff right off the bat, but then you follow up with the dark minor one chord, and it feels like, you know, whatever hope you might have had was just taken away. You know, it's like, uh, it's like the uh, deep sea anglerfish of chord progressions. They're in songs like this. Now, we're gonna take a look at one and six chord relationships that uh, get a little naughty and bring a third chord into the mix. This third chord tends to stick around long enough to really leave a big impact on the progression as a whole and bring some uh, tastiness to the party. Chord progression number three, the six to seven to one. So this one sounds like it takes the six to one and gives it a lot more tension or buildup because of the seven chord in the middle. So you've got that one and then the two. And then the th they're in songs like these. Chord progression number four. The four, six, one. The six, four, one. Yeah, remember what I said about the six, one chord and how it's kind of angler fishy? This chord progression sounds like if you saw the anglerfish light and then you saw like the outline of the anglerfish itself, but then you realized it was too late and you were gonna die, you know? And then you just got devoured, eaten alive. They sound like this. Thank you. 
Chord progression number five. Chord progression number five. Chord the four, six, one. Mm, it tends to not really be as cool as the six, four, one, but it can pack some power since the uh, four chord comes first, you know? Gives it some dark oomph to start off the uh, progression with. The anglerfish is still kinda sorta there, but it's in the form of this minor chord sandwich, you know? They sound like this. As I've said before, these are some of my favorite chord progressions to hear, but here's the problem. These chord progressions do all share a lot of similarities, and the one and six chords themselves share a lot of similarities. So is it the familiarity that I'm hearing that makes me just like these chord progressions so much? You know, am I just some musical simpleton who doesn't even care for variety? I don't know. Anyway, these are just uh, my takes on a couple of one and six chord combinations. There are still plenty of others to explore. But what about you? Did you agree? Did you disagree? Do you think my videos are full of flaws? Let me know in the comments section down below after you've liked and subscribed. I'm out.